Today on Two Crazy Kiddos, we're going to have some donuts. Donuts? Yeah. Chocolate glazed donut ice cream. From Enlightened. And we'll taste it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we are going to review some ice cream. Enlightened ice cream. It's been a while since we've done an ice cream. And enlightened isn't something that we've eaten a lot of. Now, when we first started on keto, we were buying enlightened because it was the only thing we could get that was sort of low carb. Yeah. And it was always known for being low calorie. It was low calorie. Um, the carbs were low compared to regular Earth. ice cream. But not low as far as keto. You were looking at like six, seven, eight carbs, net carbs per serving. And so we kind of discovered like Killer Creamery yep. and Rebel. And that way we could eat like the entire pint together and not feel bad. Yep. So Enlightened recently came out with their keto collection. If we can get that there. How awesome is that? And take a look at that number on the front. Is that a one? One gram of net carbs per per serving. So how many servings are there? There's four servings in here. Oh, do you said one? One net carb per serving. You said one serving? One serving. So we got this from Enlightened. We bought it online. It's not available in any of our stores. And I have a little card here. They have seven flavors of the keto flavors right now. They have oh. butter pecan. Oh my goodness. Chocolate glazed donut, which is what this one is. A chocolate peanut butter, coffee and cream, mint chocolate chunk, peanut butter fudge, and red velvet. Oh my gracious. They also have coming bars, like ice cream bars. What? Four flavors, dark chocolate, marshmallow, peanut butter, mint chip, and peanut butter chocolate chip. Oh my gracious. Now I chose this flavor to taste first because a lot of these other flavors we've had in some of the other brands, like butter pecan, chocolate peanut butter, peanut butter fudge, coffee. So this is the flavor we haven't had in any of them. I have not had a donut in a while. And we'll get into the prices afterwards. So let's go over the ingredients and nutrition on this. Okay. So the ingredients in this are cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, non-GMO, soluble corn fiber, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, Dutch cocoa, natural flavor, skim milk, tarragum, guar gum, carob gum, butter, monk fruit extract, pectin, chocolate liqueur, salt, lactic acid, and citric acid. Wow. Pretty clean ingredients. I if feel there's like... anything that's questionable, maybe the soluble corn fiber, but... But man, for the most part, I feel like I'm listening to the ingredients on an artisanal, like, yes. small batch company. Certainly a lot better than a lot of the stuff you find in a grocery store normally. Yeah. Find it interesting, like they've got pectin in here. That's an interesting way. I'm sure they're using that to have it not freeze as much. Okay. Okay, so let's go over the nutrition. So there are four servings in this container, just like all the other ice creams. Right. Their uh, serving size is a half a cup, 180 calories per serving. So very similar to the other brands like, you know, Killer Creamery, Rebel Creamery. Mm -hmm. 16 grams of total fat, 10 grams of saturated fat, 2 grams of protein. Wow. 11 total carbohydrates, 2 grams of dietary fiber, 8 grams of sugar alcohol. That's again per serving, making it one net carb per serving. This is amazing. So if we eat the entire pint, we're eating what? Um, 720 calories if you eat the entire pint. Right? Yeah. Is that right? 180, 180 times four? Is that 720, right? And then, and only four carbs. And only four net carbs, even only 44 total carbs. But I actually like the fact that, like, we're doing much lower carbs right now, even total carbs. Like, one serving is still less than we would normally eat on a total carb. I am blown away. Okay, so this has been out for, I had it out for about 10 minutes. I was waiting for Rachel to come home from the movies. Yes. And then I was worried about it, so I stuck it in the refrigerator. So it was in the, out on the counter for about 
five, ten minutes, and then in the refrigerator for five or ten minutes. Because what, some of the other ones, you almost need to let some of them like a half, half hour. an hour. So it says from right on the front, for maximum deliciousness, set your pint out for five to ten minutes before digging in. It's worth the wait. Aw. Ready? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. There's writing on the back. What's that? It says, a feel-good fact. On Christmas 1914, warring British and German shoulders called a truce for a day and played soccer. Interesting. I actually did know that. Okay, so that's what the inside looks like. We can get it to not blow out. A pretty swirl. That is really pretty. Of what I'm assuming must be a donut flavors. Okay. Wow, that's pretty creamy. I'm making sure you get some swirl here. Thank you. Happy wife, happy life. Wow, that is beautiful. You ready? Dink. Dink. That actually tastes like a chocolate glazed donut. That is, how did they accomplish that? Mmm. That is good. That is really good. It tastes like a Boston cream donut. It does. It also tastes to me like um, what I remember as um, ice cream cake. Yes. That like frosting. You know, it's almost like a, the writing. And... Yeah, not the writing. Like the, the Carvel ice cream cakes, but the outer part, not yeah. the inside. The outer part. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I want another bite. I didn't realize how much I'd miss that. Right? That's a... Look at that. Mmm. Their vanilla base is spot on too. Well, it's not a vanilla base. It's chocolate glazed donut. Oh, there's flavor. A... That's the flavor of the oh. ice cream. Oh my gosh. Because I was gonna say it it's very sweet and nice. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. It's definitely more of like a gelato. Yeah. It's a very thick. Very, very thick. Just like the other ones, very fatty. So you want to put this through five things? Yes. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about uh, the ingredients. Uh, does a keto based on the nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. So pleasantly surprised. The ingredients are pretty good. Um, I would say not quite as good as like, you know, Rebel and Killer Creamery, it does have that soluble corn fiber in there, which it's it's one of those questionable ingredients. If you start researching online soluble corn fiber, um, you'll find where they talk about IMO and then soluble corn fiber. There is no research that shows that it does. it is a fiber that you have to worry about like IMO or something like that. Mm. It is non-GMO, which is good because it is a corn fiber, so you always worry about that. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those things that it does, it's not supposed to impact your blood glucose. I've tested myself with products with it and it hasn't. Yeah. So, but it's, not the cleanest, 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 but not bad at all. That's literally the only thing. That's the most suspect ingredient on here. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so number two, uh, does a keto base on a nutrition label? Definitely, yes. I would actually say this. It is the best keto out of all of the keto ice creams we've tried, right? The Killer Creamery, Rebel Creamery, this one. Yeah. I mean, and even like their other ones or the, the Halo Top, which really isn't keto. But I mean, the keto ice creams, this is the lowest total carbs. One per serving? This is insane. Well, I'm, that's net. I'm talking about total. 11 total carbs per serving. I think that's the lowest one. If I remember right, none of the other ones are that low in total carbs. And then, I'm sorry, but one net carb one per serving. One net carb. Yeah. I can't get past it. Yeah. So, and uh, yeah, 180 calories, 16 grams of fat, two grams of protein. It's all fat. Yeah. Yep. So it definitely keto is based on the nutrition label. Number three, how does it taste? It tastes so good that if you've ever tasted Enlightened before, you need to scrap all of those memories and you need to retry this. Retry this one. Because this doesn't, I've had Enlightened in the past. You and didn't it, like it. It tasted like what you would think a diet ice cream would taste like. It, yeah. a, a, it was an ice cream that had no calories in it. So what does that taste like? <laughs> right? Like flavorless. Absolutely. But this is action packed. Now it doesn't have big chunks of stuff in no. it. It's really like you see that beautiful swirl. 
it's very flavorful, but there's not a lot of junk in it. You'd have to add some kapow or no, something else I don't to it. That. If well, if you want the mouthfeel of crunch and right. all that's that, that's true. So, but I, I I'm shocked by the taste. I mean, no kidding. This tastes just like a Boston cream donut. It is it's delicious. It's exactly what it tastes like. It is With so the chocolate rich. on the outside and everything. And it is because they've upped the fat to make it like keto ice cream instead of it being a diet ice cream. Yep. It's so like, I mean, it's like gelato. Really, one serving is probably going to fill you up. Yeah. Whereas you would have to eat the entire pint of the Old Enlightened to even know you had anything. Right? <laughs> yep. So number four, how much does it cost? Okay, I'm bracing myself. Okay, so now these were not available in any of our stores. We looked everywhere for them. So we finally just ended up getting them directly from their website. It's probably better that I don't have that great of access to it. Now, this actually came in a little card that you can uh, hand to your store manager to get your store manager by. It's got a little thing here. It says, dear store manager, I want you to carry a Lightens Keto collection. So you can always hand this to your public person. I'm going to staple a 20 to it and hand it to the store manager and be like, hey, <laughs> wink, wink. How quick can we, wink, wink, have this in the store? Okay, so let's go over the prices. So they have two different ways you can get it. You can get a seven pack, which comes with one of each flavor. Oh, like a sample. Yep, and that is $64. So it's like nine bucks. That's a like $9 a pint. So we're at about the same price as um, Kill uh, Killer Creamery. Mm -hmm. And it's free shipping. Ooh, okay. I like that. Or you can get just um, all of the same flavor. Okay. And you get eight pints for the same price. Oh, all right. So that's what you're getting basically an extra pint. So now you're only paying $8 a pint. The only thing is I want to taste them all. Yes. Well, maybe once you find your flavor, though, you can order just yeah. the flavor that you want. Now, as of the recording of this video, they're actually having a special, according to their website, where it's $56. What? So that's the significant savings because that's like now you're paying $8 a pint for the combo pack nice. or what are you paying um, $7 a pint for if you buy all the same flavor. I would definitely get the combo now. Yeah. So now we're not affiliates with them or anything like that. We don't have a coupon code or anything like that. So... I don't, you know, know if there's anything out there on the internet. You could always just like kind of do a Google. I think AD Keto may have had one. I don't remember. If I can find it, I'll leave it down in the description. I don't know how long it was good for or anything like that. So, but we will try. Those are the regular prices that are listed on their website right now. Not horrible. Yep. And now maybe in your local store, even cheaper too. Yeah. So number five, would we recommend this? I would definitely recommend this. And I am specifically recommending it to the people who have tried Enlightened before and was like, eh, yeah. terrible. Yep. Because I'm telling you, they have up their game. They have brought it mm -hmm. Absolutely. with this keto one. It's just nice to see, you know, like all this is going to do is create some competition. So it's nice yeah. to see more companies coming out with, because it's going to force them all to get themselves in a store. Rebel's going to have to get into more stores. Killer Creamer's going to have to get in more stores. Mammoth Creamer is going to have to get in more stores. And it's just going to keep driving the price down. I am, Hopefully. I am never upset when more ice creams enter the market, right? Are you? Yep. Like, no. And again, this is a brand that I'm sure will be in a lot of the stores because Enlightened is in most stores anyway. Already. So I'm sure all they got to do is kind of ship their keto options in and as soon as people taste this and you also get again keto ice cream is delicious because yeah, it's fatty it's all fat yeah. so like whether someone is keto or not my my nephews would love this yeah. because it just tastes delicious well here's the thing it's like gelato we only have one pint of each flavor we are not sharing this with the children oh no we're finishing this Shh. don't tell them we're releasing this video even <laughs> Okay, so that is our video for today. Do us a favor, let us know down in the comment section. Let's say I'm going to review the flavors again. Butter pecan chocolate glazed donut, which is this one. Chocolate peanut butter, coffee and cream, mint chocolate chunk, peanut butter fudge, and red velvet. So we have one of each flavor. Okay. Let us know down in the comment section what the next flavor we should release a review on. I'm thinking red velvet because that's another one that we don't have in any of the other companies. That's beautiful. What is that? Velvet? And then maybe what we could do is maybe even pull out like the butter pecan and do a comparison side-by-side -side video of that one versus Rebel. Oh. 
Ooh, so we'll so let us know down. down in the comment section what you think the next flavor we should review is. And we will do it. Yeah. So if you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.